Hey guys, it's Christy. Welcome to my channel. And um, before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know a few things. So, um, um, we are, let's see, well, I am no longer affiliated with, um, uh, the acrylic point for beginners. Um, we, uh, due to some irreconcilable differences, a few of us, um, decided to go our separate ways. So, um, we are now in the group, Facebook group called the Acrylic Crazy Train. It is me and Cy Frost from Frosty Eye Candy and Darren Nixon from Venom Fluid Art. And it's uh, Bridget Martella. And we have Britta Clayton with Britt Clayton Designs and also Sheldon Briscoe from Shell Rock Art. So um, come on over and check and join. So it's a lot of fun. It's a safe place for you all to show your work. And it's um, it's gonna be it's gonna be the best crazy train ever. So come on over and join us. Um, also, I don't want you don't want you to forget about um, Cy Frost. He has his uh, live shows every Sunday, uh, 2 p.m. PSD, and um, it's the joy of pouring. And we have a lot of fun there too. So um, come check it out as well and join us in the live and have some fun with us there. Um, we have up next after me, we have Sheldon Briscoe from Shell Rock Art, and then following him, we also have Britt Clayton from Britt Clayton Designs, so stick with us and check them out afterwards. So, All right, today I'm going to do something a little different, um, but like being a little crazy, I guess, since I joined the train. Um, it's um, I'm going to do a Dutch pour, and then I'm going to, I'm going to do some balloon kisses on it. So let's see what happens. I'm not going to use a hair dryer because it's not a very big, um, it's on a wood square. Um, I just cut it out and I think it's about 10 by 10. I'm just guessing. I'll put it in the description if I remember. But um, I also, I guess I forgot to tell you, I'm using all this little piggy pigments in this as well. So that's something new too. So um, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to get this pointed down. So let's get, uh, let's get started on this and see what happens. All right. I've already, um, Put this down. Um, I've already flooded the can well, it's not a canvas, my wood. Um, and I have used, I hope it's okay. I've used um, it is bare and it's um, it's a flat paint, it's just a flat white paint, and I mixed it just about half and half with American Floetrol. So I put that down first, and then my colors are. I had them all lined up, but this is my second go around because my first go around, um, my uh, phone decided to shut off and didn't tell me, so I did a whole video for nothing. Okay, so my first color I'm going to put down here is this little piggy, and it is uh, cinnamon. So that's the first one I'm going to put down. And I am just going to do this with it, I guess, just a little something, something, something. All right, there's that one. And then the second color I'm gonna put down is, I believe it's parakeet, is it? Yes, it's parakeet. All right. And that's this one. All right. And then for my third color, it is submarine. Fourth color, of course, I gotta get a purple in there. Is nightfall. All right, my fourth color is mosh. Okay, and my last but not least color is Sapphire. Okay. All right. Okay, let me wipe my hands off. 
pull my hair back because um, I made a mess of myself last time. And then I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna blow this out with my mouth. I'm not gonna use a hair dryer. The last time I used a hair dryer to do a Dutch pour, um, my hair dryer is just not not what it needs to be to be doing that. So I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna try it. So I'm going to pop the bubbles here. We'll see what happens. in there at least. That makes a little something icky, I think. Maybe. Alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, so the last time I did this, um, I tried just going ahead and just putting the balloon in there and it didn't work so well. So what, um, what I did was, is I took the balloon and I poured my colors on it and then did it. And it seemed to work better. I'm just trial and error here because I don't do this stuff. This is this is all new for me. I've done, um, I think, one or two of these and um, that's it. So I didn't really know what I was doing then either. So, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to kind of layer the colors on the balloon. And it seemed to work pretty good last time. So. Let's do one right here, maybe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know that I really need to. I'm going to try to do it with that one just like that. Let's see. Maybe a little bit. All right. Do that one over, I think, right here. Yeah, I don't know, maybe not. I'll do this one right here. Okay. Maybe. Uh 
Okay, I'm gonna hurry up and do this and wipe this off before it slides out of my hand. Okay, let's do, let's just do one right here. Okay, and maybe in here. Um, I'm gonna get the other balloon, maybe. Let's see. All right, wipe this one off before I squish it out of my hands. Yes. Okay. So, okay. So I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to set this on something and um, hope for the best. So, all right. Here's the finished product. So I kind of like it. It's different. Um, I don't think it turned out too bad. Um, please tell me what you think in the comments. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate everyone who has done that already. And I uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget, uh, right after me is Sheldon Briscoe from Show Rock Art. So go over there and check him out. He's amazing. And then after him is Britta Clayton with Britt Clayton Designs. And she's amazing as well. So keep it going. And let's go over to Rowdy. Or sorry, I'm going to say Rowdy Bean. But Sheldon Briscoe. Thanks, guys.